Brazil 2014, getting closer. GP in the basement today. It is a hot day in London, but I thought let's just go to the root of the music. And uh, I was going through a little bit of a Mark Murphy phase today, the jazz singer, thinking how I'm tremendous. And I heard he's not very well at the moment, so I was going through a little reflective Mark Murphy phase. Uh, which has nothing to do with Brazil, but then I realised that Mark Murphy did some amazing versions of Brazilian songs. One of which was a song called Empty Faces, which was originally called Vera Cruz. There's a lot of versions of this song, it was written by Milton Nascimento. Now, the version that I was playing for Mark Murphy is this one, which is so amazing, right? Mark Murphy, um, he's made so many great albums. We will do a special everything on Mark Murphy soon, I can feel it. I want to in fact go to America and visit him and see how he is, because he was meant to come to London, didn't happen. He will come again soon. We love you, Mark, and particularly your arrangements of Brazilian songs, and just all songs, whether it was Oliver Nelson, or whether it was My Favourite Things, or whether it was Empty Faces by this one, Milton Nascimento, which takes me to Milton Nascimento. Is he the greatest living Brazilian singer-songwriter alive? I mean, is he the one? Is it, is it Gilberto Gil? Is it Caetano Veloso? Is it the fact that you still got people like Gal Costa and Elsa Suarez? For me, it has to be Milton. I have all the Milton Nascimento records and it's difficult for me to pick a record for you today. But what I'll do, there might be more Miltons coming up in the series, but today I thought, on the inspiration of Mark Murphy's version of um, Veracruz, I thought, let's go to the version of Vera Cruz by Milton, of course, who wrote the song, which he recorded for an American record label. Now, here's the thing. This is the record. Milton Nascimento, Courage. One of the first Milton albums I bought. Another one that I bought because it was available, because it was an American release. I think it might even have come out in the UK, this record. Here's the thing. Strings, arrangements, Yume Diodato. Yume Diodato, discovered Milton Nascimento. Milton Nascimento made a whole heap of records, but this record is so special. It's got Herbie Hancock on it. It's got some of his best songs. Our two wrote a beautiful song. It's got Bridges, which has been covered by numerous jazz singers from Sarah Vaughan, actually to Mark Murphy, um, Catavento. This is an amazing record. It's strings, Brazilians. It's beautiful. It's elegant. It's sympathetic to your heart. This is what this record is. In fact, I remember speaking to Bjork and she said to me, my favourite artist is Morgan Nascimento and it makes a lot of sense. So, I'm going to leave you with this one. It's Milton Nascimento. Get into it.